Spanish. Uh, it's Pentecost Sunday and uh, speaking in tongues that I can't do but I can try in English and um, I could try Hasa Diga Ibo way. Perhaps you, you understand that. I don't know. There are some people that know that. Okay. Um, I'm here to talk to you about uh, what happened to me. It's an unusual thing that such things uh, happen in, in Europe nowadays and I will try to, to explain to you and how can we do something out of that and for the secular movement uh, for Europe, etc. I have to tell you about me a little bit, then about the secular organization I am part of in Switzerland and then what happened with my... Uh, role as a teacher. Leo talked like a teacher. I can talk like a teacher because I am a teacher. So uh, don't feel uh, uh, talked down on. I was brought up as a Catholic and, and then I came to the age of reason and uh, now I'm atheist, secularist, uh, humanist, etc. Uh, an interesting thing, when I uh, got my the letter of confirmation that I uh, left left the church. Before that I had a talk with, with the priest and I failed. I didn't convince him to join atheism or, or to, uh, to, to come to our side. And after that, in, in my letter, there was mentioned, we, it is our sincere hope that this moment of confusion may pass. So that's, that's in, in Switzerland, the Catholic Church. It's, it's quite uh, interesting. Um, I have been accused of being a fundamentalist, a human rights fundamentalist, etc. And, and I always try to, to put the fun in fundamentalist and the humor and, and not take myself too seriously. You have to take serious what I do, but I don't take myself uh, uh, too seriously. I think in, in Europe, at least, where my life wasn't threatened, etc., and, and it's, it's a good tool to use hu humor and, and uh, yeah, uh, that, that thing. Um, yes. Uh, the Freethinkers Association of Switzerland is quite old. We were founded in 1908. We are humanists, secularists, atheists, agnostics. We have even Christians among our members that are for the separation of church and state. We have sections in different cantons. We also do rituals, secular rituals, as an alternative to the religious ones. We also uh, do political work, but we are strictly non-partisan. We are not on one party. Obviously there aren't a lot of uh, Christian conservative party members in our group, but we have liberals, we have, uh, we have leftists, we have greens, etc. So we are really open and, and try to do that. Then we found it in Valle, that's in the southern, southern part of Switzerland, we founded a new section, Wallis, in 2010. The main goal is transparency in, in church tax or church financing. It's really a scandal in, in Valle, what's set up for a system there. Uh, religion in, in uh, state schools is, uh, is a disgrace in, in much of the state schools and we wanted to offer to, uh, to the atheists or, or uh, non-believers in, in Valle a feeling of if you are not believing, you are not alone, like uh, meetings, etc., and, and rituals, etc. And uh, we had the speaker, Beda Stadler, for example. Some of you know him. He's, he's a, uh, yeah, not everyone likes him, rationalist. And it, it made a little bit of a fuss uh, that we founded that there. It's really black, it's really uh, conservative there. Uh, Catholicism is rampant. And uh, yeah. In my function as the president of this new section, I, I uh, sent a letter to the Dienststelle für Unterrichtswesen, that's the education bureau, some, some sort of that. And I told them that I wanted to have a discussion, I wanted to ask them some things about the situation in Valley. And I told them always that I am there as a president, not as a, not as a teacher, uh, as a citizen, in fact, not, not in my function as a, as a teacher at a state school. I have to explain to you that we have a Bundesgerichtsentscheid, that's the federal court in, uh, in Switzerland. We have a, a dis decision there from 1990 that said um, crucifixes in the classroom do not conform to a religious neutrality. This, uh, this does not fit together. And at the latest, if someone says that is not according to my taste, I don't want it, they don't have to make a fuss about it, but they have to, to take it away. 
Me, myself, um, I had done this task in, in 2009 already. So I, I did take down my cross uh, long before these this things happened. This talk, we spoke about a whole lot of things, also rituals that take place in primary school. For example, First Communion, etc. They are prepared during usual hours. Even lessons of mathematics, they are skipped to prepare those rituals. If you are Protestant, if you are uh, whatever, or if you are a child of Protestant people, uh, uh, parents, if you are uh, a child of non-believers or whatever, you, f you feel like an outsider and uh, in, in, in these problems they, they always said, well, it's not really a problem, it's only 5%, it's, no one has ever asked that. Uh, all the same, I, I just asked you this question, but they, they told me no one has ever asked that. I asked them about the crucifix situation and if the school boards or the, the directors would be uh, aware of this, this court decision. And they said to me, no worries, they will, they will do the right thing, they will not make a fuss, they will uh, yeah, act accordingly, etc. In Switzerland, you have to know, is it's really a, a really federally organized uh, state system. There is a joke, how do you make babies in Switzerland? Well, that depends on what canton you live in. <laughs> so there is a lot of autonomy uh, in, in the canton. Uh, there is, for example, Geneva. It's hyper secular. There is no uh, discrimination. There is no um, church tax, etc. It's, it's really almost like USA and, and strict separation and, and uh, uh, à la française, like, like in France. In this talk, I learned two things. First, the project to make uh, Canton Valley uh, habitable for reasonable people will take a little bit more time than I thought. <laughs> and the second one, there was a, there was a lawyer for this uh, office. Um, he was really unprofessional. For example, he told me, well, one knows that. If you don't like that, go work in the postal office. So the second uh, thing I, I noticed was that you can get a law degree if the IQ is, is around uh, the, the pulse addressed uh, in, in number. <laughs> so this person really, really, really made me not, not angry. I don't get angry. I'm stoic, etc. But, <laughs> but really, it was, it was on a such degree of incompetence. And he was a religious apologist there. He was not uh, what he should have been. He was not uh, professional. So that was really, really, uh, it, it, made, it made me a little bit sad. We have a, a law concerning the education uh, from 1962. It's before the Second Vatican Council. It says uh, school has to try to help the family and the parents to educate, etc. And we have to prepare the children for their life or for their task as human and Christian. It's a little bit funny. Uh, over here you have the humans, or there you have the Christians, but, but what's the meaning? In fact, I, as an atheist teacher, would have to, to, to get uh, my, let's say, um, agno uh, agnostic. Well, I, had a, I had a pupil that really was agnostic. He was from agnostic par uh, parents, too. I would have to turn him into a Christian, according to this law. And this law was the only thing that this, uh, this, yeah, this uh, person I don't really like always told me. Well, that's, that's the reason why you have to go to the services. That's the reason why we have 30 services per year, religious services, Catholic services in, in this school. Yeah. Um, this uh, law, we think, is not in, in accordance to uh, to the human rights, that's obvious, but also uh, to the decisions of the, f of the federal court and to the constitution of Switzerland. So uh, it might get, uh, they might get a problem, they might get, uh, have to change that. As a reaction to this talk with them, I wrote a letter to the direction I said I will not have a crucifix in where I have the other lessons too. I want you to take them out. I don't want to go to mass anymore, so zero. And the third one was, I was a class teacher, I, I wouldn't uh, name who is to be altar boy and altar girl and, and uh, has to read the, the, the mass, the Eucharist or whatever. So that was expected from me to name, you are going to be the altar girl, that's the situation I was in. Some secularists have told me that those things aren't that unreasonable. Then the board has 
sent me a nice letter, I was not in the right tone and I have to put back up my crucifix which never was there, etc. And um, those are the persons that put their signature there. And it's not only the school board, but also every president of the local region. So it was a kind of like a, a threat to me. They, they wanted to get me uh, to shut up. And I'm not the type to shut up. You, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the problem with me. And uh, one signature is missing, that of the local priest. The local priest is also, by default, uh, a uh, member of the school board, but he didn't want to get his signature there, because I don't know why. Um, after that, I said, no, I won't put up back my, um, it, not my cross, but uh, not my crucifix. Um, I want a beschwerdefähige Anordnung, so I want to, to write it, I want you to write down that I have to put it up, but they already did that, so that was just to, to be on the safe side. I, I, I did that yeah, to be safe. Then we had a, an immediate dismissal on September 10th. They took a pretext. They said, like, uh, there is no confidence in me anymore. All the same, uh, there before they were all there. There was all talk about the crucifix and religion and blah blah blah. And then some lawyer, I imagine, told them, "You can't tell that. You you have to create a pretext." And so they did. It's one politician, his name is there, Egon Fuder, a uh, Christian conservative. It was an election year. I really uh, think that he wanted to make an example out of, of this uh, story, out of this um, idea. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit ridiculous to get me fired uh, without notice. There were alcoholics, there were people that really hit on, uh, not hit on, but uh, not like beat up, but they, they physically uh, attacked children. They didn't get uh, dismissed, and, and they didn't get dismissed uh, without notice, so immediately. That, so that's really some kind of, of a, a real hypocrisy. So if you measure my being for the Constitution and freedom of speech and, and etc., and, and those people, what they did. I can read you what th this Christian conservative party said after in the paper. They said, it can't be accepted that people that are teaching at our schools that are active in groups with extremist tendencies. <laughs> it would be naive to think that a teacher with such a mindset wouldn't try to influence pupils entrusted to him with his ideas. After, this is about me. <laughs> and after that, uh, a journalist found out that one of the teachers that is now currently at the school in Stalden is a more or less open neo-Nazi, a misogynist. I can't, I can't tell you what he writes on Facebook because cunt might be bleeped. Yeah, now I said it. He, he, he really uses words like cunt, shut up, etc. He's a football hooligan. And that's, it's really documented. He, he says, well, I'm not anymore. But he was one of the leaders of, of the, this local scene. And read it again. Read it again. I was for freedom and, and those things. And he is still at this school. It's no problem. That, that's, I don't get angry, but <laughs> that's really something. I think uh, that's, that's interesting. That's quite interesting. After that, the, the school board, they didn't imagine that I would, I, I think they did a, a little bit underestimate the influence or the, the impact that might, might have. I had a whole press coverage. Um, I'm now the, the most hated or uh, inf most infamous free thinker, I think, in, in Switzerland. I, I don't know, but I think so. And I was at the most important TV uh, things in Switzerland altogether. That was a million public, uh, a million, uh, well, viewer. And Switzerland isn't that big. So, yeah, compared to the, the size of Switzerland, it, it, it had an impact. Um, 
some problems were perhaps that we, we did not always get our message across. We are for the separation of church and state. We are not against religion in every, in the private life, etc., etc. But uh, yeah, we, we had a lot of success there. And I think the religious uh, people, the conservatives, they really shot in their own foot by getting me fired uh, without notice. And that's what we have to do sometimes. We have to, to make them do such stupid things. But usually, we don't have to make them. They, they do them by, by themselves. I was also named one of seven or nine persons to be uh, the candidate of a pre-courage. And that was really something that annoyed these uh, conservatives really, really hard. So that, that was really great for me to, to get something back. I also got letters of Christian love and uh, for example here, the, the, my point is not that there are nutters out there, There's, that's that's always the case. This one says jump off the bridge, uh, take rat poison etc. And he has signed uh, the, the, the parish he is going to. Uh, a journalist contacted the, the priest, said isn't that a theme, uh, isn't that to be mentioned in the, in the service? And he said no, that's not for me, I, I, won't, I won't do that. Just to say, next time they are on their high moral horse, I will remind them you didn't say anything. That's your sheep there. That's your your person. You, you should have uh, done something. My, my mother had cancer at the time. Now, now she's in full remission, so, so she's healthy. I heard that that's, that's God's punishment for, for me being... Uh, uh, so, I know my life wasn't threatened. I, I take that always like th there are nutters, but, but really, you don't expect such things in the 21st century. There was a, a legal opinion by a, a really renowned uh, professor. You can read it online. It's really a great stuff for, for lawyers, etc. And the, the beautiful um, thing is, if there is a threat to the image of uh, an institution, the correct thing to do is not to say the person that says uh, something about it to shut up, but to, to uh, fix the situation. So that, that's really the thing they should have done and not uh, fire the, the, the person that criticizes. We had a, a funny uh, decision by the political side. Uh, it's a little bit too detailed, perhaps, but I mention always Gray's law. Any sufficiently advanced incompetence is indistinguishable from malice. And on that level, it does not make uh, a difference to me. I really, really did not understand some of the parts that are written there. If you can read, you can't write the things they did. So we really hope that in the higher courts they, they might get uh, a really a, a problem with, with being that unprofessional and that biased. So that's what we hope. There hasn't even been a decision by the Continental Court. We are not that optimistic. I think we might have to go to a federal court, but there we are very optimistic. I think we are not going to Brussels or something like that. It's already common in, in Switzerland that state schools have to be neutral, and we think that that might get, uh, get squashed on that level. Uh, we, all, we already had a lot of uh, legal fees, uh, so uh, that, that's also an asymmetry. The Egon Fuder, he takes it out of the pocket of the, of the council or whatever. He will never pay one cent. It's, it's Rappen in Switzerland, but uh, he will never pay anything from, from his own purse. And I have to organize, I have to raise funds, I have to, to organize, etc. And also on a human level, they, they wanted me to they wanted me not to go to the graduation um, and that was something also on my blog that's the most read uh, entry. They said to me that I can't join uh, them on, on the most important day of, of one of my favorite, favorite classes that uh, graduated that year. And these, this, this inhumane conduct, it, it really is a little bit um, not, not so great. It's, yeah. in, in Switzerland, they wanted to pass, um, pass a, a law in cantonal parliament to make it obligatory to, to put crucifixes in every room as a, as a reaction to, to this thing that happened to me. And that's, that's not happened. They didn't uh, vote yes because they knew that would be overturned from from the Swiss uh, court or or uh, yeah that so that 
it, it's, it's a little bit more politics than, than uh, law. Uh, the second thing, we had recently this decision, Italy versus Lao Tzu. Our opinion as secularists is that it's a problem. That's not a good decision. The small chamber made the exact opposite. Unanimous that it, it is not religiously neutral to put crucifixes in state schools. And then the Great Chamber made the opposite uh, with the exception of two dissenters. Uh, there was a, a yes, okay, it's okay for Italy to put them up. And the strategy, I, I don't know if you know, but the strategy has been to say, well, the crucifix isn't really a religious uh, sign, but it's more of a kind of a cultural thing. And I always tell them, well, if it's only a cultural thing, we can play with it, we can turn it upside down, and there would be no outrage, and we can paint it green or, or uh, put up a, a kermit, the frog, on it. And to me, this is really the, it's really the, it's really dishonest. It was really not okay to, to argue like, like that. So they have like not only a double think, they also have a double speak, etc. They, they try to get the best out of it. Uh, for my case, I think the Lao Tzu case will not be a real problem. We will stay in Switzerland, I, I hope, but we never know. In Austria, also there has been a crucifix case, where perhaps some of you might know about it. It concerned uh, kindergartens. So they also said it's, it's kind of okay, um, it's not really a, a religious symbol. And I'm, I'm not on, uh, sure if they are pursuing it, it farther. But I think the, the whole thing is uh, about these cases. Europe should be secular and we should be um, a beacon of, yeah, a beacon like, not like the, the problem with uh, the, the blasphemy law in Ireland is the same. We should not do those backwards things. We should be on the front. We should be progressive. And that's why we should fight that. I know th this is not a life on stake, uh, also in, in Austria, also, also in, in, in Italy. But if we are not uh, on the front, if, if, we not, if we don't try to, to do it right here, uh, the others always point to, to Europe and say, well, they, they don't do it either. They don't separate church, church and state, etc. Yeah. So there is a lot of things to do for me in, in Valais. So, um, I, I, uh, I did uh, say I'm not going to quit. I don't want asylum in a, in a civilized canton, so I will not go away. You are stuck with me, dear politicians, dear lawyers, etc. there. So I will work on the church financing and these things. We had to pursue a, an exit from a church for more than a year. We, we had to help him uh, exit the church because there was obstruction from the priest, etc. It's, it's really like a sort of a, a puppet theater. It's like, it's like cabaret in, in Valais. For if you, are, if you are the person that, that can laugh about it, it's really um, funny sometimes. What role do I, for example, have to play? That, that's also a, a thing that I, I ask myself. Um, I'm not the martyr type. For one reason, I, I don't like to die. Martyrs have to die, and our secular uh, movement has no martyrs. But I, I think I can make a difference. I can show them that you can't do that to people. Uh, they, they won't go away that easily, etc. So we hope that we might get something out of it, out of this uh, whole thing. And yeah, it's, it's not that easy because the, the, law, uh, the, the lawsuit might be uh, two more years, perhaps, or whatever. We, we don't really know that now. I just wanted to say that it is it is the fact that in, in Swiss politics, the religious also have a, a big lobby. So, like in Germany, like in other European countries, we are not a minority, but we are perceived as a minority because two little people speak up and stand 
up and say we are going to vote secular. We are going to to the voting booth. It is our task as secular um, as a secular movement to make politicians comprehend that they don't always lose if they are for separation of church and state. I don't want a lot of people, a lot of politicians to affirm uh, atheism or whatever, but th at, at least we should get them not to fear to say, I am for the, the proper separation of church and state. In that. <laughs> in that respect, I think we are like a lobby organization. We have to change minds, we have to change attitudes in, in that respect. And uh, this one is really the, the Corpus Delicti Sive Christi. That, that's the actual thing. It's, it's not uh, in my possession, but it's, it's the real thing. And I, uh, to make a little bit of fun out of it, I, I, I always wonder how much will be the, the kilo price of this uh, thing if, if they lose. For, for this symbol, for this oddity, I mean, it's not about the symbol, it's about the principle that we don't indoctrinate our children. It, it should be neutral. There should not be such a, a, a fearsome or a fear-injecting uh, symbol there. And yeah, uh, we have to try to, to avoid uh, to get too far off track and little things, um, but we have to stick to the main goal, separation of church and state. And my true conviction is that if we have a good ethics, uh, a neutral uh, Religionswissenschaft teaching about religion or, or whatever, I know that's difficult because in the end, uh, at least in Valais, it, it will be the priest or uh, um, a not neutral person that will do it. But ideally, if we get the, the children to be neutral, I always think it would be so good if they join if if they couldn't join before 14 or or whatever. That's my goal that the the, the schools will get um, the religion goes out of it. Uh, to my personal situation, I am a teacher now. I uh, yet again in in Valley. I didn't go away. Um, I did not get a full-time job, so it, it's part-time, I have to do lots of other things on the side, etc. So uh, financially it has not always been good, but I hope it, in the end that there will be some recomp recompensation. And also I have met so much uh, interesting, beautiful minds and, and sharp and smart people uh, during this whole ordeal that it's it's always it's already worth it uh, that uh, they have done that. So uh, I think that's the the lesson we can learn. I am quite active on the on the social medias, etc. And if you are interested in details or or uh, for example the legal opinion or so, you can go up there. The, the information we we try to put it out there as much as we can. We the the Swiss free thinkers in Switzerland, you you really find them a lot. The, those crosses on the mountains. It's it's not an act. It's it's a montage. It's it's not actual thing. But um, just. Uh, Sometimes we, we make fun of the, these things, and sometimes we have to be earnest. And and uh, I'm I'm uh, for both. Um, we have to be taken seriously, but uh, we don't have to take ourselves uh, in this role all, always too seriously. I think it's it's more important if if I listen to Taslima or Leo or, or so. That that's a whole other story. But I think me as an a European, my life isn't really threatened. So it comes across as like a grumpy, young, angry uh, thing if, if I'm not at least a, a little bit relaxed. So that's a strategical um, uh, consideration that that I did there. I think. In, in this secularism battle, we have to make them comprehend that we are not against their uh, being religious, whatever. Ultimately, yeah, I, I would like that less people would be religious. But in this s struggle, at first, we, we always have to say, and that, that's honest, on the political level, we are not against them believing. We are against them imposing their belief on us. On, on innocent children that have not a formed mind, etc. So that's also important. I'm, I'm speaking a little bit like an activist, but I am. So uh, yeah, take that with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
very much. I, I came to Switzerland in 2004. I thought I was going to a liberal and secular country famous for human rights. But I shared your experience. I worked at two old people's homes, and I found that people were more concerned about my religion than my work. At one place, they banned me from walking into the office unless I start believing in their Christ and their Christianity. Second place, they offered me to convert to Christianity. I refused, and when I came back home, the windows of my apartment were broken. I think a lot of people have such experience. If you see the history, more than three and a half thousand women were burnt alive in Switzerland for refusing to be religious. Those were the medieval ages. The Inquisition never ended. It continues. And uh, you are the new victim. And you have to be very careful. Thank you. Well, ju just, just a remark on that. I have decided not to be a victim, so I'm, I'm fighting back. So that's not the role I chose. I think uh, in the media I would have been more successful if I would have uh, yeah, uh, cried a little bit more, but that's not, not the... Th I play a role, yes. I am doing a shtick, but um, I will not be victimized. So, yeah, that's... But victim in, in this uh, air quotes, yes. Thank you. When you were dismissed without cause, where's your union in all of this? Aren't they helping you uh, get some compensation for being fired for a job without reason? And the second thing that shocked me as a teacher myself is that how, how can your colleagues beat children and be alcoholic and still keep their jobs? Aren't there somewhere to report them? It would be impossible to get away with that in Denmark, certainly, even with the unions protecting people. I am part of a union, um, the, but the, the, the upper level of, of money that they ha have, have to give me um, is, is also already exceeded. So free thinkers are raising money. That's the thing we are doing. And the second one, so that was before my time. It was five years ago. I think now they are more careful, but I know about alcoholics that, that did that. And I'm not talking about beating up a child, but, but really like a slap or really pinching hard, not, not, not real brutality, but things like that. And it gets a little bit covered up. And here they, they wanted to make an example out of it. And I think I will be the last one uh, for decades or millennia or whatever to, to get fired in, in, in Switzerland like that, because they have learned now that that was a real mistake. So the problem is really in, in Valley you have a political system, there, there is this CVP, CSP that are ruling in major, majority and perhaps it's the cousin of the president, etc. It really is corruption, you could say that. So th there are some ugly things in, in Valley. Valley is like the Bavaria of, of Switzerland or <laughs> like, the, like the Poland or like the island of Switzerland. Oftentimes we are the laughing stock of, of Switzerland because they perceive us as, as backwards. But I know so much young people that are open there, pro progressive, etc. And that was give me uh, what's given me strength uh, to, to, to stay there. I ask myself, who if not I, and, and when if not now, and I am going to stay and I'm not going away, and that, that's important to me. So I hope that these things, negligence and, and looking the other way, etc., I really think that that will go away also in, in Valley, yeah. I'd like to know what was the reaction of your students and their parents, uh, both in the short and the long term? Yeah, it was the last lesson before uh, school um, vacancies um, holiday in, in autumn. Uh, they took the, the key from me, like uh, to a criminal. I had to uh, sort my things out, always under surveillance, always another person was there present, so like really like some something criminal. Um, the, the pupils I saw in private afterwards on the street and I went to the graduation um, ceremony and they, they <laughs> some of them really, they, they welcomed me. It was, uh, I didn't cry, but that was really great. So they said, well, that, that's not okay what happened to you. You were my f favorite or second favorite, whatever teacher, <laughs> etc. And so 
I, I taught a lot of French and they don't like French, so. Um, <laughs> but that was really, that's something. And if I might have uh, 30 seconds to, uh, there was a, uh, the father of a, of a pupil from me. He, he drove past me on the, on the street and then he, he saw me, we, we greeted each other, then he backed up and uh, took down the, the, the window and I thought, I, I always um, thought that that's the conservative type, and he took the, and, and then I said, "Wow, oh, ah, he will he will say something stupid again." And I, and then he said, "Show them." That that was not right. What you what they did to you? Show them, and that's that's the things I like. So that's what I live for. That's what what I really like when when they they react like that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.